And we're back with Vigilant here on Skyrim Saturday. Good to be back. I'm feeling well enough to record, obviously, as I am here recording, and... Okay, so that just took us back through the portal back to where we were before we went into Malata, correct? It's just been a little bit of time since I last played, so I just wanted to double-check everything. Killed Caliburn, the Selector. I mean, that was the end of here, unless I missed anything in Mulata. Or, I suppose, in the, uh, the monastery. But I don't believe so. So yeah, we should be good to... Wait, well, I went through the portal back to the monastery, but... Here we go. Mulata Abyssal. That's the problem. I saw a big portal, and I'm like, oh, let me take the big portal. It's me. Marok the Imga. Uh-oh. It's been a long time. He hasn't changed since I met him in the Colobian jungle. His face still looks just as stupid as then. Oh, Pepe. Always one with the insults, Pepe. Don't tell me I have to kill him, do I? Who is this Imga? The Prophet Marak. He had visions of Saint Alicia. He brought the stone into the Imperial City and laid foundations for the Alician Order. What is the stone? Just the stone, nothing else. But everyone kneeled before it, before its temptation. I still remember this as if it happened yesterday. But you held it in your hands too, and you swallowed it. Even once is more than enough. Wait, I swallowed the stone? Where is the stone of the Elysians? It was lost during the War of Righteousness. Even the Daedra left us high and dry. When the Elysian Empire lost the stone, it crumbled soon after. For we were not shepherds of our people. We were their enslavers. Where is the stone now? Don't get so excited. It's still at the top of the tower in the center of the Imperial City. I wasn't that excited. It won't run away now. Not in these circumstances. Stones can't run. Uh, sounds like you and Maruk were old friends. He's like, no, he's stupid. Look at his stupid face. At that time, I still served the Divines. I heard an alien barge sing a strange song at the crossroads. Ball. About the Imga dancing with the apparition of Saint Alicia. When I asked him about it, he told me he had seen it himself in the jungles of Colovia. I went to see it with my own eyes. Normally, I'd laugh at such a story, but I felt as if it was my duty to go and see. Perhaps I felt like that because there was something strangely mysterious about that bard. It was Ball. Anyway, I went to Krovia. It's always Ball. What happened then? And I found it. I saw a dirty monkey, smeared with blood, dancing with the illusion of Saint Alicia under the full moon. Their dance lasted until dawn. When the monkey noticed the morning sun, it stopped dancing, and the illusion of Saint Alicia faded like mist. The monkey saw me standing there in shock, raised a brilliant stone, and said, Take this stone to the tower. And then? You've seen what happened. It has all become as you see it now. Let's stop talking now. And what should I do with this Imga? Give him peace. I want it all to end already. Do you think that I'll have to kill Pepe at some point? Like, I'll just have to put Pepe down and he's like, Good, finally, I have been waiting for this. <gasps> put him down. Is this some sort of, like, a life support system that I have to end? Oh, no, he was in some sort of stasis pod. Gotcha. Well, he's not moving yet. Oh, does he not come out of stasis? Do I just have to... <laughs> it was very, uh... Yes. It seems the army of order broke through the barrier. At last, Greymarsh will begin. Very he anticlimactic. Did well. So he wants the Greymarsh to attack the city. Slave Trader's Note 7, St. Dulce's Nail. 
Alright. I thought it was gonna be another boss battle, because, you know, this is vigilant. Everything's a boss battle. You might be wondering why I'm coming up here. It looks like... Okay, no. That looked like it was one of the pedestals for a button, so... I was just coming to see if there was anything that I needed to take a look at. Oh. I can't go through. There's a little barrier in front of the door. I guess I have to talk to Pepe again. What do you mean? Oh, okay. I thought that him saying the Grey March shall begin was his way of saying, like, get the fuck out of here. It's about to begin. But no, what do you mean? But will all end now. A millennia of pointless waiting will end now. I believed at first that someday Cesar will come and save us from the suffering. But I waited for thousands of years, and he didn't come. I opened thousands of sarcophagi, believing in the prophecy, but only poor imitations of the real thing crawled out of them. Where is Cesar? What is he doing? Oh, I know now. He won't come. I should have known from the very beginning. I like Pepe because he's at least self-aware to some degree. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I... I like him. I'm sorry, but I saw no other way. Let me show you the last way out in return. Now that Marek is dead, the central barrier should be weakened too. There is a mansion to the north of the Imperial City. The mad Kenish and Sal Drozel resides there. Kill him, and take his heart and key. The key opens the gate to the center of the city, and the heart you will need to get into the tower. Hurry, Greymarch will be here soon, and it has the same goal as you. Do you think I'll actually get to, um, see soldiers of the Greymarch? Or knights of the uh, Greymarch, I should say, like you see in Oblivion? That'd be cool. What will you do now? This is the end of my long walk. I will wait here for the end this old man deserves. Oh, Gidokes. Oh, Gidokes. Oh, yep, no. You see how I had just asked if I was going to fight uh Knights of the Grey March? Yeah, I called it. I called it, all right. All right, I am taking a little bit of damage. Whoop! He's gonna stab the floor. Oh, kidokes! Forgot about the seizures. Oh, come on, really? Okay, thank God. I thought he was gonna heal up, and I had to fight him all over again. No, he heals up and just poofs away. Well, all right. Mansion to the north of the city. Gotcha. The King of Senchal. That's... Senchal's in elsewhere, I'm pretty sure. So I guess we'll find out what his story is. Alright, so... Well, he did say that the central barrier around the city would have been weakened. Um, but obviously I still need to get to... Um, Senchal's mansion in order to completely get through to the center of the city. Okay, so I'm guessing that means that the rest of the outer section, the outer ring of the Imperial City will be open then. So it's just a matter of going through, uh, finding my way through, and then just finding the mansion itself. So, got a little bit of walking to do ahead of us then. Oh yeah, look at this. The, uh... Oh, the crystals are starting to pop up. Oh god, alright. Giant Atronach of Order. That's... That's cool. I like that. And we got Knights of Order. Which are a bit more like the, uh... The design that I'm familiar with from... Oblivion and everything. That's awesome. I love it. Just the... The transformation. The fact that it feels like there are consequences to... Your actions and everything, I love it. It's just really, really good quest design, really good writing, really good implementation of everything, and it makes me very happy. 
Now let's see if we can actually get through here. Because this is where I got stuck the last time, when it just was the thing of like, oh, I can't get through here at all. For all I know, now it's going to be... Never mind, I was going to say now it could be something I can open because of the quest stage. And it's like I said, you can see that there's something through there. There's markers and everything. I see a dead body, too. Come on, let me just get over there and look at that dead body. Just call me Logan Paul. Okay, figured it out. I was looking at the door, could not find a way, and I noticed that it had the little magical symbol up there for uh, conjuration magic. So I figured, hey, let me throw a spell at that, and guess what? That worked. Oh, we got a few of those doors here, it looks like. Dried well, discovered. You know, the most interesting of things that you could discover. A dried out well. That I can go into, apparently. Well, let me just very quickly open this other door. Boop. There you go. Oh, and it's my friend over here. And he has a friend of his own, it would seem. Sir Gregory. Hello, Sir Junkin. Tell me about Sir Gregory. He's not bad with the sword. However, unlike me who can only fight, he has a sense of art and taste. He's a funny one, but a good fellow. Though sometimes he's too stubborn for his own good. Well, what are you doing here? And why didn't you leave the gate open when you figured out the little conjuration trick seal? I'm guarding Sir Gregory on his artistic pilgrimage. He's quite a stubborn fellow. From here on, you'll have to be prepared for anything. Remember, death is the end. Death is always the end. That's not new. He does not answer. It seems there is no more life in him. Well, you know. Struggling artist and all that. You think life is hard being an artist in the outside world? Try being an artist in oblivion. No one appreciates it. You got imps, you got scamps, you got mole like ball breathing down your neck every 10 seconds. I don't blame him. I'd be very upset with everything, too. Alright. Now, I don't believe I've been into this well before. I've definitely not. Uh, hello there. How are you? Gloriel the Valkyrie. A traveler. This is the last shrine of Meridia. Feel free to rest here. My question is, how'd you get this big-ass statue down that little well? Uh, what do you have for sale? What do you say? Oh, she's an Auroran. Look at that. Okay, so you can actually get the Auroran gear. This way, if you don't have it already. Auroran Valkyrie Helm. I'll buy that. Dawn Cross Spear, Dawn Spear. Meridia's Beacon, Auroran summons Auroran for 60 seconds, wherever the caster is pointing. Auroran Battle Lord, and uh, Auroran Guardian, Auroran Valkyrie. Summons Meridia's Bow. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna get all of these. Illuminates the circumference of the owner, magic over generates 5% faster. I'll get all of this. I have the gold. That's not an issue. Okay, that's cool. Have you ever heard of about Varla? He's the one who killed me. Oh. I remember. He's a skilled swordsman, but he hesitates in battle. Small world, I killed him. Perhaps his fight is not really his own. Are there any other shrines of Meridia, even though you just said this is the last one? This is the only one left. After her largest temple, Dilodil, vanished 200 years ago, Meridia's power began to decline. Meridia's beacon is weakening with every passing day. Lately, I can't hear her voice anymore. I must brace myself for the inevitable. Are there any other followers of Meridia? Not anymore. Some were driven mad and wandered into the wasteland, and others committed suicide. Now I am the only one who still serves Meridia. But if you stay with me, 
There will be two of us. What do you say? Okay, I'll stay. And that's it. Just the end. The mod ends here. <sighs> so be it. Are you lonely here? I'd be lying if I said I'm not. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. So please, humor me for a bit. See, I feel bad for her. What do you know about this place? Since the Army of Order illuminated it from the West, this part of Oblivion changed. It's like a world in twilight on the brink of death. That light also exposed the whole distorted past again. The shadows of this light are reaching back to the ancient past, digging up those long dead. In the end, they may even reach Merethic Era and the origin of Molag Bal. What a sight that will be. Oh, okay. I guess that's supposed to be the explanation for the, uh, the memory segments. Activate Shrine of Meridia. Okay, just a regular shrine then. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be something regular or something different. Probably have a lot of junk that I should put away. Just a little bit. Yeah, I've been just carrying a lot of stuff, a uh, lot of stuff around. So we're just gonna put that away. Since I haven't made a trip to uh, the uh, priory in a while, we just have a lot of junk on us. All right, and I think we're good. Oh yeah, there's just a little, I mean, not really home down here, but you can have, you got a grindstone, you got a workbench, you got a bed. Oh, and it's not even owned, so I can sleep in it. One of the anvils of Xenathar. I can make Knight of Akatosh helmet. Either clean or rusty, paladin boots, paladin helmet. Okay, I'm gonna look through just the armor real quick. You can make the Auroran armor, the bloodied armor, Cadwell's kettle. Uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to be- oh, it's a circlet, okay, yeah. See so where it is a hat. Ebony buckler, parrying dagger. Okay. Oh, so you can even make a lot of the armor that, um... You find it on the bosses in case you just don't have it. Alright. That's pretty cool. I don't have some of the materials, obviously, just because I haven't been stocking up on crafting materials, but... There's also a, um... Anvil of Zenithar back at the... Um... Vigilant home base, so... You can always make this stuff after you finish the mod as well. That's awesome, because I really love some of the armor and designs in the mod, so it gives you the opportunity to not only make it, but make some variants of it as well, because you have the silver, you have the rusted versions. You can make Molag Ball's helmet, which... That's cool, because I really do like his armor design as well. Okay. God, the list just goes on and on, doesn't it? That's awesome. That's really, really cool. Alright. I wasn't sure what would be down here, if it would be another, like, boss section or something, but no, it's just a nice little safe haven. Which, in Oblivion, take any safe haven you can find. Absolutely. Safe havens are your friends. Alright, so... We gotta go this way. I can see more of the Crystals of Order. <gasps> oh, do you think I can get... Him? To fight them? Oh, I see a Daedroth over there, too. Where does this door lead? Gorius's Charnel. Oh, well, they're already attacking me. Alright, 
Oh, Jesus, look at the size of that shield. That shield's an absolute unit right there. That's a little excessive. The shield is so big that it's just clipping through everything. Clipping through the floor, through rocks. Like, he doesn't even know what to do with it. Okay, he knows how to bash me with it. Jesus. Oh, good, I can take the oversized shield. I mean, of course I'm going to. What am I going to do? Leave it there? I don't think so. God damn it, I missed. Hi, how you doing? Let me just summon these, uh... There we go. Now, fight each other. There you go. I'm curious who's gonna... Oh, alright, never mind. I'm curious who's gonna win, and as I'm saying it, they just kick the shit out of him. Which I am not surprised. Like, I mean, look at it. One, Daedrith Battlelord. Two, giant dude in armor. Like, wow, who's gonna win? Who would've guessed? Whoa, wait, down you go. Oh god, did it just spawn more? Does it just infinitely spawn it as you get closer to crystal? Because that would be not great. Force oh, right staggered you! Got him. Alright, into Gorius's charnel we go. Ooh. Once again, mod continues to be absolutely beautiful. Love the design of just everything. When uh, the mod author eventually comes out with the next mod, a spiritual successor, not necessarily a direct sequel, you can bet your ass I'm going to play it once it's in English. Because, uh, you know, Japanese is not my forte at all. As are most things in life. Like, uh, finding switches. And levers. And ways to open doors. One of these days it'll be my forte, but definitely not today. Alright, I've looked over now, and I haven't seen any sort of hidden switches, or any... pull handles, any levers, or anything, so... It's very possible that this is something I have to come back to at a later stage in the quest, and that the gate will just be opened for me then. Which, if that's the case, that's not an issue at all, but... I mean, suffice it to say, there's still a lot of places to go, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that there's something you can do in regards to trying to stop the Grey March from encroaching further into the city, so... That's definitely something that I'll want to look into. That's definitely something I would like to do. Because I'm pretty sure someone told me that you can fight uh, Jigglag at one point in the mod, and that... That's not something you want to miss. That's definitely something you want to experience for yourself. But I guess we'll just keep on heading north and start making our way towards the mansion of the Mad King. Oh, hey, look, they're switching up the... Uh the switch is on me. Alright, so this time we need an alteration spell. Alright, let's just give you some, uh, oh, nope. Candlelight's just gonna cast this right on me, isn't it? Yep, alright. I always forget the difference between candlelight and mage light, even though it tells me what it is, how to do it, etc. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just boop. Alright, I was curious if that was going to work. It did. Whoop. Sir, did you just kill that woman? Sir, did you? You killed her, didn't you? No idea who you are. Who she was. But I'm, I'm digging your sword right now. I like your sword a lot, so... You can bet your ass I'm taking that when you're dead. Which will be right about now. Hey, karma gained. <laughs> Key to front gate. 
Uh, Terranus's broadsword. A wedding ring. And I'll take his heart. Oh! Oh, I thought the name Kareen sounded familiar. These are the goddamn... These were the alleged witches. Well, they're dead. They are very, very dead. Man, they just can't catch a break. They come here, they die. In the real world, they die. No break at all for them. And boop. There we go. That was easy enough. Let's see what this gate over here is. Alessian Entrance Plaza. 